honest, he did the right thing pulling out the fight. I mean, I, I'm not a doctor, but but when I fought CB Dalloway, I injured my ribs the first week of camp, and it got to a point. I think it was three weeks before the fight, and then I started to really seriously consider maybe I'm gonna have to pull out of this fight. I was still able to train, but but I was in so much pain, it was ridiculous. And now that was just a bruised rib, and I'm telling you, the pain was. And even still now, I can still feel it. I can still feel the pain. But I had some injections, and as I said, five weeks passed and it started to get better. Um, but that was the first week of camp. If that happened two weeks before the fight, there's no way I could have fought. There's no way. And, um, you know, I was disappointed that he pulled out the fight because I wanted to see the fight. As a fan, I was disappointed. But for Jose, long-time champion, undefeated champion, his legacy's at risk. You know, he made the right decision. Um, now, of course, the, the fight is going to be even bigger now. Connor got through Chad. And here we go, you know, the, the, the fight when it happens is just even bigger. UFC 200 takes place July 2nd, 2016 at a brand new arena that they're building in Las Vegas. This is probably the best person to ask. You obviously fought on yes. UFC 100, the biggest event of all time. If you were in Joe Silva or Sean Shelby's shoes, dream scenario, you can have any fight you want to headline that card, what fight would it be? Well, I don't know. I, I, well, I'll tell you what I would do if I was Joe Silva. I'd put me on the card. I was on UFC 100 and I'm still there trucking along. Title contender, top 10 contender, sexiest man in England. I'd stick me on the card for sure. Uh, and I'll be the only person to fight on UFC 100 and UFC 200. And uh, I just think that um, would be a fantastic move on the UFC's behalf.